Okay, today I'm gonna to show you guys what makes black pen red pen, black pen red pen. And this is how I start off with my YouTube channel a um, few years ago. And I haven't done this for a while because I've been using black markers and red marker, right? <laughs> anyway, let's do an easy one. And you guys know it from the thumbnail. I will show you guys how to prove this property of the improper integral. The integral from zero to infinity, f of x, dx, okay? Well, to do this, I will just first let you equal to 1 over x. And I will just solve for x. Let's multiply both sides by x and divide both sides by u. So in another word, I can say x is equal to 1 over u. And from here, you know I will take the dx into the u world as well. So let's look at this and differentiate both sides. We get dx and that's equal to the derivative of 1 over u is negative 1 over u squared du. And now, originally, this integral was in terms of x. So that means x goes from 0 up to infinity right here. And we're assuming, you know, this integral is actually good in the sense that it actually converges and all the stuff, okay? Now, I will take this integral from the x world to the u world. So be sure you change the limit of integrations as well. When x is equal to 0, and technically we are saying x is equal to 0 plus, in this case, when you're plugging 0 plus into here, 1 over 0 plus is positive infinity, and that will be for u. So we will have u goes from positive infinity up to when you plug in infinity into here, 1 over infinity is 0, so that will be the upper limit for this integral right here. So u is equal to 0 right here. And then inside here, we have f of x. The x is now 1 over u, so we have f of 1 over u like this right? And the dx is that, so we can just say we will multiply this by negative 1 over u squared du. And then, of course, we can just clean things up a little bit. Notice that we have this integral going from infinity to zero. It's kind of out of order, right? But thanks to this negative, and by one of the properties of, uh, of integrals, when we have the negative of the integral, we can just switch the limits of integration. So in another word, this is actually the same as the integral from zero to infinity and no more negative here, okay? Because this negative helps us to turn this around. And then we have the input right here, the integrand is f of one over u, and let me put the u squared down below here, and then this is du. Once again, the negative helps us to change this right here, so you see, this integral is actually the same as that. However, although the original integral was in terms of x, and this right here, we have this in terms of u, but what I can tell you guys is that, therefore, when I have the integral from zero to infinity f of x dx, this is actually the same as integrating this from zero to infinity as well, but I will look at this as f of one over x over x squared and then dx. The x right here is just a dummy variable. Don't let u bother you, okay? In the end, you'll get the same value. Anyway, this right here is it, and this is considered to be a proof. I shouldn't box this right here. I should put a box right here and shade this in. This feels so good every single time. And we are done.